That's good. That's a good mask sort of thing. Girly, I don't think that's a mask. Hi everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmy. if you're new here. It's so good to have you here. Today, we are actually starting Torchwood. So we obviously just finished the second season of Doctor Who. It was sad. <laughs> but before we get into the Christmas special and season three, if I wanted to watch Torchwood, now would be the time to begin that. And I did run a YouTube poll, so thank you for everyone that participated in that. In the YouTube poll, I know I was a little bit unclear on how I would be doing this because I still didn't really know how to work it out. I know that there's like an important episode to watch before I get to a certain point of Doctor Who. So I figured out that the best way to do this and still watch Doctor Who because I still really want to watch Doctor Who. I don't personally like the idea of like dropping it and watching a season of a different show, no matter how good it may be and then getting back into it because I love Doctor Who. I always look forward to watching it and I just really want it in the mix still. So what I decided we're going to do is that I am going to watch the first two episodes of Torchwood and then we will be alternating Torchwood and Doctor Who. So currently the upload schedule has me watching Doctor Who on Tuesdays and Saturdays, but now with the Torchwood on the schedule, it will be Tuesdays, Doctor Who, and Saturday is Torchwood. And that may change up a little bit since sometimes Saturdays we have a movie instead. So yeah, basically all that to just to say is that I am going to have both in the mix, be watching both of the season simultaneously, but I'm pretty sure I'm doing this in a way where I get to the important episode before whatever. I mean, I, I don't even know what's important about it, which I don't want to know, but I know that there is an important episode to get to. I know that there is a more in-depth way to do this of like watching it, but I believe that way has me watching like most of Torchwood season one before even starting the next season of Doctor Who. And again, I really, really want to keep watching Doctor Who. Selfishly, I don't want to take a break from that. All right, anyways, with Torchwood, I really don't know anything. I do know Jack is in that. You can kind of see his face right there in the preview. All I've really heard is that this is like Doctor Who, but more mature, more for adults. And I think that could be really interesting. I feel like it could get more real and more serious, but I'm very intrigued to see if there's still the funny, goofy elements as well. So yeah, I'm just super excited to get into this episode and see what Torchwood is finally about. We've been hearing so much about it in Doctor Who. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. If you aren't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. Of course, a thumbs up is appreciated too. Also on my Patreon, I'm four weeks ahead. So if you're interested in both early access and full length reactions, you can check out my link for that in the description below. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, I think I know this song, but I think it's because I've played this like in the Torchwood episodes, right? Everything changes. I don't even think I said the name of the episode. I'm just too excited to get into it. Alright, so we're starting with like a gruesome crime scene. Hi, hi. What's happening there then? What is happening there? Move back, they say. Clear the site. Move back. <gasps> Special access for Torchwood. Here they are. <laughs> Look at them! <laughs> oh my god. They're giving like the Matrix. Oh, is she gonna try to get a better view of what they're doing? You know what they say, curiosity killed the cat. I hope she's gonna be okay. Estrogen. Definitely estrogen. Estrogen? You take the pill, flush it away, and enters a water cycle. Feminizes a fish. What? What? <laughs> Contraceptives in the rain. Love this planet. Contraceptives in the rain? Sorry? Never doing that again. How's it going? You were pregnant? So many things are happening already. Whoa. Whoa, what's happening? <gasps> Oh my god. 
That startled me. What is going on? Listen to me. We've only got two minutes, so it's important that you listen, okay? Only have two minutes? You're dead. Oh, they can only bring him back for two minutes? Oh, I'm sorry, but you've got to concentrate. Who did this to you? What did you see? Why am I dead? Who attacked you? These two minutes are not productive. So you didn't see anything? No. Well, that's not very helpful now, is it? John. John Tucker. Okay, John. Not long now. Who are you? This will be really interesting, yep, Tell to me. have Captain Jack is our protagonist. It's very different vibes from the Doctor. Oh my god, there's nothing! <laughs> oh. Whoa, whoa, that's so cool though. That was wild of how he, when he was alive, the rain stopped. As soon as he died again, the rain started. Maybe there's no right way of doing it. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> of course he knew that you were there. Yeah, she's probably like, no way did I just see what I think I saw. Unbelievable. They said in the news murder in the city center. Are you there? No, I don't know. Nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with you? Was that just to keep his peace of mind, I guess? You coming to bed? Oh, well, I'll just finish here. This man's found his sister. He loves his dramas. Busy, there's proper channels, Gwen. What's our captain? Don't know, just captain. If I've got time. Thanks. That's funny. He's kind of like just captain, like the doctor is just doctor. <laughs> we don't know what kind of doctor captain we just accept it the two women were stabbed from the front but john tucker was stabbed from behind what does that tell us about the killer that he's a coward well that is actually interesting that the women were stabbed from the front and the men stabbed from the back perhaps that means something what is going on in here good lord it's like the whole bar is fighting oh yikes yeah, that looks like it could hurt. God, rough job. She should work at Torchwood instead. <laughs> oh? Was that Jack or someone else? Their face is moving too much and it's blurry. It's all sealed off up there. Who did that? I thought it was you lot. But what's it for? What's happened? I don't know. Oh, perhaps Torchwood? Oh! Sorry, I'm just looking for someone! Um, do you not see their face? Uh. Yeah, right. Clever. That's freaky! Uh. Okay. If you could answer, this is official business. Who is that? And are they violent? That's good. That's a good mask sort of thing. Girly, I don't think that's a mask. I did ask when I saw Dr. Mahib, because I thought it was him who said about the Good thing that guy came in, maybe. Unless they're both gonna get attacked. Who have you got with you there then? So much for sealing it off. Careful. Whoa. This isn't gonna go well, I fear. That's like, um... Hellraiser. Oh my god, why are you getting closer to him? Look at that! It's just like me! Stomp! Oh yeah! Poor guy! I saw it coming though. And look, it is Jack. Um, a little late to save that guy, but at least he's here to save her. <laughs> She's gonna force her way into a position with Torchwood. <laughs> She's gonna find out too much, they'll have to accept her. Right? Or maybe I guess she could just be like a police partner. But I, it doesn't really seem like they need police permission anywhere. That's it, he's American. But you forgot to tell me. So who is he? I forgot that he's American. It's so funny watching like a British show because now like I don't even notice accents. It's like I was like hyper aware in the beginning and now I just don't even notice them. What's going on, Gwen? You seen ghosts? I mean, she has kind of seen ghosts. It's a funny question to ask. You can't leave that there. Police! I can see that, love. And you're still not leaving it there. Well, you just ruined it for me. I think... 
Have we been here before in a Doctor Who episode? I feel like I recognize that mirror thing. I have oh. walked. I have bloody- Hello. <laughs> Sorry about that. All hospital staff, present and correct. Hmm. So what happened to the guy then that got attacked? How is he being accounted for? But they were short on the Zamach on tonight, so I said I'd take another shift. I'm sorry. Uh oh. <sighs> Forgive me. Seems like her job's gonna cause their relationship a lot of issues. As those jobs do. This is very, 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 very loosely reminiscent of Criminal Minds to me. And I was really, really into that show. No. He's not a regular anyway. J Harkness or just Harkness? Yeah, maybe leave out the captain just in case. I don't suppose you've got a torchwood. Oh, I. We do them all the time. We're good customers. Oh. And she was about to leave. Oh my god, she's gonna deliver pizzas to them. That's funny. Where... Where is anyone? I think it's... a Mr. Harkness. Well, that was... suspicious. I'm sorry, do all the pizza delivery boys see this? This weird door? Or do they just know what she's up to? Because <laughs> that would be one crazy story to have as a pizza delivery person. Oh, wow. This is an insane place. So this is Torchwood. But when are we? Because we also saw Torchwood in the last episode of Doctor Who, and it was like a very nice, pristine place. There he is. Jack, come get your pizza. And maybe explain something to this girl. Do none of them notice her, or do all of them notice her? And they're just like, eh. Whatever. I can't do this. I'm sorry. I'm rubbish. I give up. What? You set me off. Well, oh, like they were just pretending. <laughs> I was working on a punchline. I'd have got there, but it wasn't good. <laughs> That's funny that they were all in out in on it together. Who the hell orders pizza under the name of Torchwood? Uh, yeah, that'd be me. I'm sorry, I'm a twat. Yeah, I kind of gave it away there, bud. That was real, wasn't it? He was attacked. He's dead. But there's no one gone missing. We took. The yeah. Hours, so when his body's pulled out of the docks next Tuesday night, he's only been missing for three days. What? Yeah. Why are they covering it up? I mean, I get that it's like something wild going on, but I don't know if you should cover it up like that. Did you see? You brought him back to life. Yeah. Well, at least she's being validated. All around you. And what happens to me? Why is it so, like, water dripping? I would hate to work in a damp environment. You saw the murder. Come and see the murderer. The murderer? Go with him. This probably all feels so weird. What is Torchwood? Who are you? What is this place? <laughs> what is that? Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Why do they just have a pterodactyl flying around? Oh my god, this is bizarre. Right. There he is. It's safe. And it's not a mask. I wonder if she's really realizing that now. It's called a weevil. Or at least we call them weevils. Weevils? We don't know their real name because they're not too good at communicating. Interesting. Weevils are like bugs, I think. There you go. A chair? A chair to really look into his eyes? Okay. It was born on a different world. And it's real. I guess a chair is a good idea. It's a lot to take in. Way beyond classified. Then you shouldn't be telling me. Unless... Do to me? She's got a job here. Research, and as for you, you're coming with me this way. She's coming with him. I'm getting... Where are we going? No, you're not. You never will. <laughs> yeah, that's that tongue in cheek 
Captain Jack for you. Very much a Jack response. What an interesting and definitely not up to OSHA standards elevator. Ah, I see. Oh, so that's where they went when she couldn't find them. We couldn't be any more public. Hello. Hey, you there. Hello? They can't see him. It's called a perception filter. He can sort of see us, but we don't quite register. Just like something in the corner of your eye. Oh, oh, that's so interesting. Hi. Nice night. Ooh, and low we are perceived. Yeah. <laughs> and not even perceived well. Right on this spot, which welded its perception properties to a spatial temporal rift. Okay. That sounds right. That is so Welsh. What is? I show you something fantastic. You find fault. <laughs> I don't understand the idiosyncrasies of that, but that was still funny. How about that great big spaceship hovering over London on Christmas Day? What about yeah, the Battle of Yeah, that's Hawaii actually true. How can anybody in Doctor Who not believe in aliens at this point? Causing mass hallucinations and stuff. Yeah, well, your boyfriend's stupid. Oh, he wasn't afraid to say that. You do. You're an alien catcher. Yes, I am. Got any good aliens? Tons of them. That's a hell of a job. Sure is. <laughs> I'm starting to think that he catches aliens. And there's only one Captain Jack Harkness on record, and he disappeared in 1941. And he did! Could it? Could it? Because if one power got hold of this stuff, they could use it for their own purposes. But so could you. Yep, so could you. Good point. No one's allowed to take anything outside. Um, I'm a little bit nervous in case somebody dies. And immediately, she did. But what is that? That could not be good. Oh my god, and he has something too? You guys, they gotta put tracking stuff on that or something. They're just going by the honor code. Clearly, that's not working out. Everybody has something. <laughs> Torchwood 3, Cardiff. Torchwood 4 has kind of gone missing, but we'll find it one day. So you just found Oh, Cardiff. so there's many Torchwoods. Okay. Interesting. The serial killer. I could be like your liaison with the police. Yeah, right. that's what I was thinking. But I don't think they need her. It works on the recently deceased and the more violent the trauma, the stronger the resurrection. Oh, All we need is no, you oh. That man, John but why are they needing it? We're busy. And your work is more important. Now you got it. <laughs> she was being rude and he didn't get it. If you remember. What do you mean? What does How's that mean? <gasps> no! Did he drug her? It's an amnesia pill. My own recipe with a touch of denial and a dash of retcon. No! Oh. Worse still, you'll have forgotten me. That sucks. But now I see why he was so confident about it. She's gotta go somewhere and write everything down quick. You bastard. Language. Nice knowing you, Gwen Cooper. Oh, that's sad. But I wonder if maybe she will forget everything and then just because like of fate being a thing, she'll just keep finding them and it'll be the cycle over and over and maybe they'll get tired of it and they'll just be like, fine, <laughs> you can join us. I don't know what her plan is right now, though. Maybe to run some run home and write it down. Yeah. This is what I would do. But imagine like waking up and forgetting that you did that and reading all that being like, what happened to me? I think I know this guy from something. I'm going to have to look him up because he looks really familiar. Uh, uh, uh what is that? What is that that he's using? Oh, ugh. That's not fair. Coming on with me, you are. Right now. So it's like a love cologne type thing. Love potion cologne. Yeah, what does she have? Is it like downloading? Uploading information? What could that be used for? 
Oh no, and she's falling asleep. Okay, girly with the glove, that's like the worst thing that you could steal. That is so dangerous and very messed up. I can understand the temptations here to use this like crazy technology, but I don't know. If it were me, I would never be messing with that kind of stuff. Linda, what are you doing with it? What the fuck do you think you're doing? Uh oh. I'm taking him home and I'm having him. Uh oh. Yeah, he didn't think this one through. Fucking toss. Colin, back net. He's mine. You want to have a go, do you? You want to have a go? Come on. God, right? he's. I mean, I thought it was already bad when he's taking advantage. Oh my god, this is ridiculous! Oh my god, oh my god. He is breaking up people. And she is falling asleep. Smart of her to do that. She's gonna open it up and be like, huh? But then maybe she'll like discover it again and be like, oh yeah, maybe. <gasps> Don't do it! Don't do it! Ugh, how did they even do that? That's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. God, that's the worst feeling. At least he didn't bring any technology home yet that we see. God, Jack is so ridiculous. Why is he just standing on top of the building like that? <laughs> like, <laughs> the power stands too. That's funny. He's like, ah, yes. He's like Batman right now, looking over his city. Did you get pissed? Well, mm, not on purpose. Who are you with? Diane? Must have been, yeah. Must have been. She doesn't remember. How'd you mean, who's he? Oh, don't worry about me. Just go ahead, wasting my time. Hmm. See, all these weird things are going to keep happening. She's smart. She's going to put it together again, right? Took measurements from the stab wounds. Calculated the shape of the blade and stuff. Very interesting knife dagger thing. Sort of ornamental. We're checking the CD logs with customs in case it's been imported. Find the knife. Hmm. We might find the killer. Her having amnesia is just me having ADHD. Did we recognize that thing? I don't, I don't even know. Did Jack also drug me? She needs to take a sick day. Her boyfriend was right. <laughs> 2 a.m. It's always 2 a.m. And it was 2.01 last time we saw her in her bed too. Oh. Interesting. But where was that? Why can't I picture it? I'm guessing it was in Torchwood? But I like can't... Where is that? <laughs> I am just as confused as she is. Remember. I guess that would have been smarter for her to write it down. Because then they wouldn't have been able to hack into her physical paper. Oh, she sees her. Oh, that's so weird, the way that she's shadowed. Oh. Oh, that's what she was welding? Wait. What does that mean? Whoa, that thing's huge. How do I know you? I thought- Oh, that's frustrating. You're gonna put up a fight, so I've got- What's happening? Oh, sorry. So she's the murderer? But literally, what's going on? There, that's better. Put it down. You have to she's like back. the worst murderer. Don't... This is confusing. <laughs> Torture's gonna find out by morning, but I'll be gone. Why were you doing it? How can we get all the, the weevils and bollocks and shit? Um... Is that what alien life is? Uh, it, this is a trip. <laughs> Why did you kill those people? For the glove? Just... Pour the glove? Just position myself behind the head so they never see me twice. You killed three people. 
was the only way. Oh, so she wants control over it. Beyond the two minutes, if it could work permanently, it could resurrect. Resurrection on demand. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Jack just coming up on the lift like this. This is funny. The rest of them go swarming about while I'm working. Oh, but you got to get inside this stuff. She can't see him because it's like that peripheral vision stuff. And that's why the perception filter isn't going to work. That's convenient. Oh, <gasps> it didn't work. What's happening? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've got to. I've got to. No. What? Put down the gun. <laughs> What's happening? How did he do that? He can heal a bullet wound? How? I need to know everything Jack can do right now. Oh, Susie. Unfortunately, not surprised. She literally did not know what else she was going to do with her life. Oh. What a way to remember. But, convenient to you, Torchwood now has an opening. <laughs> Maybe you can really work for them now. I'm sorry. That was insensitive of- Yeah, you guys. Please. Nobody's allowed to take things. Good thing they seem to have learned their lesson. Because golly. What a lesson to learn. Wow, they have their own... Uh, what is this called? Morgue? I can't die. Okay. He can't but I die? Can't. Wow. Something happened to me a while back. Long story and far away. But I was killed. Yes. And then I was brought back to life. And ever since then, I can't die. Because of that, he can never die? I never I'll would have considered doctor, that. The right sort of doctor, and maybe he can explain it, but until... Oh, the right sort of doctor. We know which doctor that is. Torchwood's got a vacancy. Job going spare. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> what do you think? You want to join up? Yeah. Let's go. I like the Torchwood music too. It's like exciting. <gasps> they let their pterodactyl out? Maybe it takes daily flies, like instead of daily walks. Friends, thank you so much for watching the first episode of Torchwood with me. I would say it definitely intrigued me. I mean, it's fun seeing Jack again. Very intriguing that he can't die. I mean, that's like exciting <laughs> because now we get to see what kind of danger somebody gets in if they can't die. Um, but also, I'm sure he cares about protecting those around us i really like the main character i think she's a good strong character and obviously smart and yeah i'm just excited to see like what the heck torchwood gets up to because it seemed a little bit heavier it seemed heavier than doctor who maybe we're not into the more adult themes yet but it's certainly heavier like more crime heavy and like the woman shooting herself i i don't think that would really happen in doctor who correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think it, that's like allowed in that show so it's kind of interesting um having those moments it i think it helps with some characters um like her that was saying that she can't imagine doing anything else after this anyways i'm looking forward to seeing what's to come thank you again so much for watching with me and i will see you in the next video goodbye